everybody welcome back to the channel we are going to do the load test today i just did it messed up with the communication with me and the missus trying to get this done i wish i had a walkie talkie but we're gonna do it anyway right now i got the car plugged in doing almost eight kilowatts okay so i'm gonna go back here in a second put it on pause go tell her to crank up the 18,000 watt furnace which is now a uh 13,000 watt furnace and then go turn on the stove and all the eyes and we should get to right at 120 100 over 120 so hang with me but first i want to show you something the missus got me uh hang on i'm gonna turn on the light turn off the light look what she got me for christmas for the high voltage channel look at it reflect off the santa inverter isn't that cool but anyway, hang with me for a second. We will go ahead and turn these lights back on. All right. Now, for anybody new on the channel, this is a 25 kilowatt Sandai inverter. You can get these inverters at carry at sandai.cc. C A R R I E at sandai.cc. You can all lowercase, no separation. And tell her you saw it on the Mike G channel. Use them the Mike G code, and she will know it's from this channel. And all the people that's ordered, we've had a couple order the 85 kilowatt uh, battery all in one with the inverter, the charge controller, the MPPT, and AC DC charge controller all in one with the remote monitoring. So congratulations to all those people that's ordered. I know you're gonna love it. I can't wait to get mine in the battery bank in. So that's what we're working on. But all right. Hang with me and let me show you what we're doing right now and then I'll put you on pause and we'll crank this baby up. All right. Right now we are doing 35 kilowatts on each leg. I mean 35 amps, which is right at 8 kilowatts. So everybody hang on and we'll get right back with you. All right, everybody. Here we go. Hang on. <laughs> I don't know why the car is doing that. All right. Here we go. Right now we are doing 20, a little over 20 kilowatts. All right. We're at 96. Hundred and two. Hundred and ten. Hundred and fifteen. 14 and 13, 119, 118, 129, and 130. So that, that's over 30 kilowatts, everybody. Hang on. All right, everybody. You just saw it. You saw us pull 130 amps at 245. It's supposed to be 247 volts, but it dropped down to 245 for a 25 kilowatt inverter. So, we're gonna do the bath here and I will show you. As you can see right now, the fans just came on. Now they just went off. It was pulling 30 kilowatts and it didn't come on until it ran from 80 to 30 kilowatts for about five minutes. And then the fans came on and you just saw them switch back off. That's the way it's supposed to work. So when you ramp up the tent, it's not coming on unless the ambient temperature is hot. All right. But that's fantastic. I've never pushed it to 130 amps before. One was at 129. One leg was 129 amps. The other one was 130, if I, what I saw. All right. But let's go on here and see exactly how much we just did on that load test. And that inverter didn't miss a beat. I mean, how far can it can go up to 136 for five seconds? That was well over five seconds that I had that on. All right. After talking to y'all, then I had to go outside and unplug the car and everything. So it was doing 30 kilowatts for over 15, 20 seconds. All right. So that's fantastic. All right. Calculator. Let's see what we got here. 240 
five volts. That's what is sagged down. It lost two volts and 30 kilowatts times 130. 31,850 watts. 31, almost 32 kilowatts, everybody. This thing just pulled 32 kilowatts. Fantastic. 32 kilowatts out of a 25 kilowatt sand die. You cannot beat these inverters. I don't know how high to go. It says uh, it can go up 150% for five seconds. And we pulled way over 15, 20 seconds at 32 kilowatts. So 25 plus 50 percent more of that is 12 and a half watts. That would bring up to 137 and a half kilowatts. And we pulled th five kilowatts less than that, and it was still running. So everybody, there you go. Highest I ever pulled this inverter. We did almost 32 kilowatts out of this inverter on the on the load test and it didn't miss a beat the fans didn't come on until about two or three minutes later and you saw them come off fantastic all the new people on this channel welcome we will try to do better videos i will get better cameras when this santai battery bank comes in because i want to show you everything i'm not like any other youtube channels for all you new subscribers i don't promote products i bought this and i found out how great i love this santi so i am promoting them for the people of the world to have a transformer pure sine wave low frequency inverter that will pull the loads they don't have to worry about overloading it uh you know within means we just did 32 kilowatts out of a 25 kilowatt but what i mean is you know this is not connected to grid right or pv or solar it's running straight off the batteries with these hf inverters a lot of times they've got to pull off the a uh the pv and the grid or either one to maintain what they say they can do all right at peak this one don't need it this one pulled straight off this battery bank right here everybody all right the battery bank's full it pulled it as you can see we're running at 3.33. That's what light pole force love to run at when they're under load while they're full. But man, it was great. I enjoyed it. I hope everybody else enjoyed it. If you want these inverters, it's carry at sandai.cc. All lowercase, no separation. C A R R I E at sandai, S A N D I dot C C. Give them the Mike G code. What happens when you give them the Mike G code, I get to get the more of their products in here. All right. We're getting a battery bank, a 65 kilowatt battery bank with the MPPT charger, a 14 kilowatt AC charger, and it, remote monitoring to show y'all what these products are like and how great they are. They blow everything out of the water, in my opinion. There's nothing on them that I know of that touches these. All right. For residential uh house wanting to go off grid wanting to power everything without doing a distribution box okay this is a 200 amp box going into my 200 amp service in the house i have not a critical loads panel because i don't need it when i'm pulling a high voltage monster commercial grade 25 kilowatt inverter like this so i just wanted to show y'all this is the first time on the channel we've ever pulled the last load test, I did 26 kilowatts. This was 32 kilowatts, and she was not missing a beat. Nothing. No flickering, no nothing, everybody. So, God bless. <clears throat> Hopefully, in a month and a half, we're going to have this battery bank in. Give me a thumbs up. And any, everybody that's new to this channel, subscribe. Help us out here so we can get the word out about these fantastic high-voltage inverters, okay? And the all-in-one systems that's coming to this channel. God bless. Take care. I hope everybody had a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Bye, everybody.